Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to tell you a cool way of how you can save money when you buy Jungle Scout. So I want you to save as much money as possible doing this business. It allows you to have more money to invest in, in stock and stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can save a good amount of money if you want to use the Jungle Scout tool. And don't worry, this isn't like illegal or wrong or anything like that. So before we get started, please consider clicking the subscribe button down below, hitting the bell notification so you know when I bring out new videos. And let's get right into it. So. I'm gonna head over to the Jungle Scout. Um, let me just, I'm gonna head over to the Jungle Scout website just to show you, because there are two things on Jungle Scout. There is the product database, which is this. You can see here the product database. There is the niche hunter, the product tracker, and the Chrome extension. We use the Chrome extension, okay? That's what we use, and I'm gonna to go to the prices so you can see, I'm not trying to sell this. I'm just saying, um, so with the database, you get the product database, but it's $49 a month, and you don't really wanna be paying every single month. So if we scroll down and we just pay for the light Chrome extension, literally the light one, $97 one-time fee, you get a certain amount of searches with the product database. So I'm gonna log in. Right. Oh wow, they've just changed what it looks like. That's so cool. Nice. Okay, so when you sign up, from what I believe, if, if it's still running, because they've just, they've just changed what it looks like, so maybe they've changed this, but I doubt they have. Um, they added a lot more stuff to it. It's quite nice. You can do drop down. Very, very cool. Okay, it's a shame I just did a whole tutorial on this, and now they've changed it. That's very ironic. Um, anyway, Chrome extension, right? The Chrome extension is what we use, and it's what you see a lot of marketers use. However, in order to find product ideas, because the Chrome extension is great if you have a list of product ideas. In order to find product ideas, that's when the product database comes in. You can choose the categories, you can select all the criteria that you want, and you can click search, and all the products will show up down below. Now, what I'm saying here is what you can do is you can just pay for the Chrome extension, and you'll get a certain amount of searches with the product database. And those searches are, let's say, you get 20 searches, which means you can do this 20 times, right? However, what you should understand is with 20 searches, you should be able to find at least 10 or 15 products. And what you can do is you can just select all the categories, um, do a minimum price of whatever it is, 15 to 50, and do 50 because you wanna have, you only get a few searches, so you wanna try and search for as many products um, at once. You can put all the minimum ranks in, minimum reviews, all these different things, click search, and you'll get, you'll get pages and pages and pages. So let's display 100 or 200 we can display. And look, there's 56 million results, right? Again, I haven't really done any of these things, but go through all of all, all of them, right? Once you've put in all the um, criteria, go through all of them, write them down on a long list, then head over to Amazon and use the Chrome extension. And once you've done this, you should have a list of about 15 to 20 products. So there's no real reason to have to pay for the product database. If you do very, very little searches, so like between 15 and 20 products, you do a minimum net of 400 to 600, you do, um, oh no, that's net, we want, sorry, we want to do sales, um, 400 to 600. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I don't want you to do it this way. And let's say the reviews have to be 150, the weight can't be more than one, um, and then let's search. Our results go down to 25 million, right? Oh no, sorry, our results go to 34,000. So the reason I don't want you to do this is because you only have 34,000 to filter between, right? And this is in every single category, and not every single category is gonna work, right? Only some of the categories work. So for example, software, you're not gonna be able to do anything in software. Appliances, you probably won't be able to do anything in appliances either. So the reason I say this is you want to select all the right categories. This is obviously the most important thing, selecting the right categories. But over the criteria, expand your criteria a bit. That way you can build up a much, much bigger list of products. Then you can go over to the Chrome extension and search for those individual products. If you find that you've ran out of free searches, then you're doing something wrong. Um, but you shouldn't you shouldn't run out of free searches unless maybe you're like on your third or fourth product and you ran out of free searches. And in that case, you're going to be making so much money. Forty nine dollars a month does not make a difference. So that's what I wanted to tell you about Jungle Scout today. Um, if you are going to buy it, just buy the Chrome extension. It's really not worth it getting the the web. Um, I don't remember what it's called anymore, the product database. I don't think it's worth it. And yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it's necessary because they give you a few free searches. And I don't know if they still give you a free, few, a 
few free searches. I think they still do. Um, if they don't, then just tell me in the comments that they don't and I'll update this video, but they should. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. That's it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Just say whatever. Just say you're here. Say hello. Whatever. I don't mind. Um, and um, hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video. So thank you very much for watching.